Okay, welcome to this time lapse video. It is uh, from an already existing long uh, painting tutorial or lesson that I did uh, a while ago. And I decided to, for some reason, I haven't sold this yet. So, for some, to get kind of done more on my Patreon giveaways, I'm a little bit out of whack. I'm just taking this and giving this away to one of my patrons now. You can see the textures and how it's painted. Uh, and you can find a full uh, painting tutorial or lesson on my YouTube channel. There's a link in the description and of course of the, uh, this video. Now I'm going to pick one patron. I'll do it like this. I go over to this and this is the ex-patrons. They are not with us anymore. And this is a patron giveaway for July actually. So I'm so out of whack, but I'm gonna uh, get it done now. I'm just gonna look away here and I'm just gonna pick one. Now I picked one. See who. Ah, Hilde Strömstö T. Okay, Hilde Strömstö T. You just won yourself a painting in my Patreon giveaway. So, I guess it's going to make you happy. She is actually contributing with $20 a month. And now she's getting paid back because she has four lotteries in my, in my giveaway. And that's what you get. If you have $5, you get one. Increase it to two, 10, 2, 15, 3, and so on. So, if you want to become a patron and support my artwork, uh, check out my Patreon you find a link in the description and sign up for a five dollar or more. If you just want to support my channel, you can do one or whatever amount you like, and every time you reach five dollars, I will put you into the lottery. So uh, I hope that you give the video a thumbs up, you leave a comment, share it with your friends, uh, and remember to put the notification bell on. Uh, on my channel so we get notifications when I put out new videos. This is a new channel so I'm actually uh, reposting all my videos on this channel because the other one was hacked. So please subscribe and help me to build it back up again. And with this I hope to see you in the next video. I will do my Patreon giveaways now rapidly. I'm working on a lot of them now and I will catch up and then new ones coming out very often. So, see you around, keep watching, keep painting, keep living, and have a great evening, day, whatever. So, Hello and welcome to this time lapse. Now you can actually see me paint a small uh, seascape from uh, with... Uh, actually, it's my daughter when she was like 14 or 15 years old. She was posing in... Um, uh, the sea, actually it's the sea water and she was posing at my home Iceland, Kame uh, in Norway uh, it is the place where the Viking kings used to come from the guys who raided Lindisfarne and all these places crazy people uh, there was a very beautiful summer evening uh, sunset and uh, light was hitting her from the side that is also why the painting is so warm it's always a problem when when you do a photograph and this was actually done with digital uh, photo and uh, uh, it tend to interpret the colors a little bit too vivid so there wasn't any more and so much blue to pull out of it so much skin tone and it became quite uh, orange in the skin tones because of the sunlight but you know it's a give and take you know i i get some some um, beautiful colors in the in the um, seawater and the sky and surroundings and kind of a bluish greenish in her hair and you see how the light then really hits her from the side there usually i do my photographs with um, 
a tungsten film with my Aussie Pentax 767 camera but in this case I actually did it with a small digital camera I, I still have it actually I haven't used it in a few years she's actually 24 now so <laughs> time flies I guess but I still a lot of photographs and I painted it from that so as you can see I just start with a very rough sketch here you see the whole photo actually it was kind of a panorama photograph and I cut it down to this uh, 4x4 four four, or 1x1 one one or whatever you will uh, I like these formats and I placed uh, the figure a little bit more to the to the side here to weigh up for the composition composition uh, in the mountains and the shadows so I think it kind of got got quite a good balance in it I also wonder if gonna paint the same do the same photo in a bigger version but I have so much to do so we just see what what happens with that later as you can see I, I do a very rough uh, sketch I don't care that much about the details getting the details right from the beginning to me it's it's a building process it is um, playing with uh, Lego as you could see there was a flash actually this is from I this uh, there is a long very long I think it's over six hour long uh, uh, painting tutorial of this uh, process there's also hyperlinks in description of that uh, painting lesson so you can actually see me um, glaze you can see me use the retouche furnace you can go closer and see how I build the face and build details and hear about my frustrations and stuff like that as you can see it's a very small uh, face and very small painting so quite hard actually it's very difficult to to work this uh, this um, this um, small because it, it takes nothing to ruin it and uh, quite manic as I am I I'm never pleased with anything so yeah you see here just building more and more light adding subtracting painting over back and forth back and forth the good thing about the longer uh, painting lessons is that you get more a feel of the whole process I had some people telling me that my videos are way too long and uh, yeah some like that and I guess most people want them to be short but I mean, if I had a course, say that I had a painting course with someone, it would take me days, maybe weeks, to teach them how to paint, to get them into the basics. So what I'm trying to do in these paintings is to cover all the frustration. There you can actually see I'm glazing. I do that between every layer to get a, basically a fresh start. So... You can see me do that in the video, main video. Uh, if I should uh, go back to that, if I should, I, I, it takes so much time to build and fail. The worst thing is what takes a lot of time is actually to fail. And sometimes you just fail big. And <laughs> it can be really frustrating failing that big. So. I would recommend uh, um, just try to since there in this particular video tutorial there is also hyperlink so you can jump in between the different segments of the video and if you want to see a 20 minute segment you can do that I am planning actually to make my segments shorter more to the point because I also tend to rant away on different things about the universe and existence and everything 
because I'm the kind of person when I start talking I have real problems stopping talking and uh, not everybody likes that so I should try to keep them short and to the point and I guess that is more work in progress than anything else um, I also had a bigger channel and in January 2020 now it was hacked and destroyed so this is a new channel and I'm just trying to build it up so um, hopefully people will start uh, subscribing I almost have 300 now I need a thousand to get the uh, monetization back again so if you want to subscribe now's the time um, yeah you see I added there some green to it also and then I just go in what I do when I paint is also I I do most of my blending on the canvas at least 60 to 70 percent of my blending of colors happens on the canvas uh, and I, call, I I have a term for it it's called I call it a micro impressionist painting where I basically put in colors beside each other and I create them wet and wet where I just mold them into the different tones over time see there I have to put in some more greenish it's very typical for me to exaggerate exaggerate the the blue I have no idea why and also the camera tend to um, tend to interpret my paintings as more blue and what they I actually see them as in reality see I'm doing some more detail it is kind of over the thing in the hair I had so much problem with it and um, I just go back and forth and back and forth and back, trying to find that last touch and sometimes I think it's bigger sometimes I think it's smaller and I just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth see how the textures are building up and that's actually a, a thing I had to learn when I paint this small I had to learn to keep next time I'm doing something small as this I'm actually going to try to keep it the sketch a little bit more uh, well especially in the in the most detailed areas try to keep the textures down because sometimes I actually get into some trouble uh, uh, with the textures because uh, when I, I'm gonna add new details there is just too much paint so I can't really get the small details in and um, since some of it is skin color some of it is cloth some of it is landscape I want to make all the different textures as different as possible so I have to think more about that a good place to go and see is actually to go to Vermeer's small paintings and look how he did it I've been to the Frick Museum a few times in New York and I've seen also Vermeer and other other places and some of his works are just unbelievably stunning as you can see the likeness in this is not a hundred percent in not yet anyway uh, and it's basically because I'm not a good enough painter I just need to get better I need to use more time on it I need, need on every painting I need to get more sleep I need to keep my blood sugars uh, in check I need to uh, not like what is called procrastinate so much I need to get to it all the time so that I put all my effort all my 
waking time into this thing so but it's a, it's a funny because you see i i paint more and more it's basically more and more and more shapes so i put in some yellow there and then i go over it again probably yeah this next segment actually i hope you get something out of this so i used to play music when i did this but maybe that's better because i'm not just ranting here i don't plan what i'm gonna say i just try to have a dialogue about everything painting and stuff in these you can actually see fast forward how it is created and of course then you can go back to the to the original file and and see how i do it in slow motion not in slow motion but ordinary motion i also always use the background to create uh, shadows and create um, uh, the contrast you can actually see those things in rembrandt's paintings he was brilliant at doing effects like that by kind of building the light in the back to push because what happens is that in the end that the arm feels like it actually falls into the painting and that is actually what it does because it becomes so much paint around that dark place that it falls physically into to the background and um, yeah so the face has become a little bit better whole thing it's over and over and over it's funny how something this small can become such a such a existential uh, it's a question about life and death for me actually it's just crazy how important these things becomes for me so i'm drinking coffee in the middle of the night yeah you can see i just try to and that to get that greenish thing into it it's always difficult some of the yeah i'm actually signing the painting there then i that's all, all, always doing that two or three times before i'm pleased with it um so yeah you see how i build it now here you can see some of the details uh, or some of the textures and uh, yeah i hope you can go to my patron and sign up for a dollar or five if you this is a patron giveaway if you do you can actually win a small painting every month so please go sign up if you just want to support my channel you can do a dollar or you can do more or less a rich person can do a lot so please give, go there give it a thumbs up leave a comment and i see you in the next video